What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to save everybody right here in the uh, Weather Institute, right? Yeah, Weather Institute. Um, managed to get a cast form and all that stuff, and uh, a little something from that cast form. Yeah, it did have a mystic uh, water, I think. Yeah, it had a mystic water and all that stuff, so I gave it to my good old buddy Swamp Lord and all that fun stuff. So now, after defeating the people here in the uh, Weather Institute, this whole bridge right here is, uh, well, available for us to actually, you know, finish up our, our adventure right here. Of course, uh, let's see, I think there's a little bit of something going up that way. But I'm going to first check up right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a, an elixir, much needed elixir. And uh, before we go up there, we're just going to be battling. Or no, not, not really battling. We're just going to be checking out the bottom part of this whole area right here now. I'm going to try and put on a repel right here because uh, I don't want any Pokemon to attack me right now. I really don't. I'm not in no mood to uh, be battling any Pokemon right now. Now, believe it or not, uh, you can actually, actually make a secret base right here and or, you know, cross this uh, waterfall. But unfortunately, we don't have that waterfall right now. So we're going to have to go there a little bit later. Um, Let's see. What else? You can actually find places like this. Hidden areas right here like more secret bases. Look at that. Or, I don't know. Wait. Yes, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Kind of, kind of one. I kind of knew there was something there because you know, lonely patch of grass right there. So let's go right ahead and just move it on along right here. And uh, let's see, I think we're gonna find another secret base area right here. Yes, you can actually find this area right here for another secret base. Um, it's a pretty good one. I don't know. I've never been in it before. So let's go right ahead and just move on along because we actually found a Pokeball right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a Leaf Stone. So if you guys are, you know, having a Pokemon that needs a Leaf Stone, that's great. That's awesome. And, uh, well, there's another tree right there for a secret base. And, uh, I think you can go through this one, but you're not, yeah, yeah, you're not going to get anywhere. So that's pretty much it right there for this area right here. And my repel has worn off. So I'm just going to do this whole thing again. Now, you can actually find a Feebass right around here somewhere. Like, probably right around here. I, I could be wrong. I'm probably thinking... Probably thinking about Pokemon Oraz. I don't even know. But uh, in this game right here, Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, it depends on, like, the squares. Some kind of squares. It depends on a whole bunch of things. So, you know who you are. Comment down below. Give me the description of what I'm talking about here for the Feebass that I'm trying to look for. Well, I'm not trying to look for a Feebass, but you know what I mean. So, enough about that. Now, it is time to do one more thing. One more thing. And I'm actually going to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go with Gaia right here. Gaia needs a little bit of a battling. So now, once you get up to the north right here, we're going to get stopped. And uh, hello, hello there. It's our girlfriend, May, and she's like, Draven! Where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! So here we go, guys. Another battle against May herself. And I'm kind of hoping that she, you know, she, she's battled or she's trained her Pokemon right. And, and as you can see, she only has three Pokemon right here. So she's coming out with a Slugma. So, yeah, good thing I didn't come out with, uh, with uh, Raphael right here. I, I was actually thinking of that. So let's go right ahead. Psychic attack for Psychic. There we go. Gaia the Fierce Knight destroys Slugma. That's right. No more Slugma. And she's going to be coming out with her Grove out. So, yep, here we go. Let's go with Raphael, the tortoise. The big old tortoise right here. Again, guys, I am I'm still amazed that, you know, I you know, I've been playing Pokémon Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald for a very long time and I'm very I'm still very surprised about you know, Raphael, the uh, Torkoal, you know, how good of a Pokemon it is. And as you can see, still slow, going up against Grovile right here, but still powerful. As you can see, bam, flamethrower for the win. How's that feel? Not so good. And everybody's getting experience points. And here she's coming out with the Lombre right here. So what I'm going to do now is going to go with Skyblade. I miss you, Skyblade. I love saying Skyblade. That's right. So there we go. May coming out with her Lombre. The Ombre. Not really an Ombre. And here we go with a little bit of a... Oh, crud. Fake out. Gotta love that fake out because it makes me flinch. Yeah. So there we go. Air Cutter for the win. 
That's right. Oh god, nearly defeats him. Not a critical hit, and here we come out with a nature power. And there's that swift attack that, you know, doesn't really do much damage to Skyblade right here because, you know, hey, you know, steel type Pokemon. Deal with it. So there we go. Lombre the Ombre. Defeated. Everybody's getting experience points. And we defeated our girlfriend yet again. She's like, ah, Draven, you're strong. I was worried that you might be struggling with your training. Never. Hell no. No way. So after that, May's like, but I absolutely, uh, I, I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up! And here, I have a present for you. We get ourselves the HMO2. Perfect, because it's a fly. Use fly and your Pokemon will instantly carry you to, uh, to any town you've been already, or you've already visited. But, to use fly, you have to get the gym at Fortree City. That's important, so don't forget, you should fly home and visit uh, Little Root for a change. I bet your mom's worried about you, Draven. Well, let's meet again somewhere. See ya. Alrighty. And, uh, oh god. This guy right here. I didn't even notice he was gonna come. Okay, so Scott here is like, ha ha ha. Way to go, Draven. I just passed by a trainer riding on a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. That kid looked pretty, uh, that kid, <laughs> that kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. I sure seem uh, to run into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'm in. I'll be seeing you. Okay, so this guy, yeah, he's a little stalkerish, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so let's go back to that whole HMO2 business right here. Now, finally, HMO2 fly, very very powerful flying type attack. We're gonna give this to Skyblade because you know it needs a little bit more moves, better moves than you know what it has. And, uh, okay, air cutter. You know what? I'm going to take away Swift because eventually we're going to get Aerial Ace around here. So, no worries on that. It still doesn't miss anything at all. And, uh, like May said, we can't really fly right now because we don't have a badge. So, well, let's go on and continue right here. As you can see, you can make a secret base right there. And, uh, let's see. What does it say? Route 119 to Fort Tree City. Okay. Alrighty. And, uh, oh. Completely forgot that this whole thing leads to Yeah, it leads all the way right here. Huh! <laughs> Look at that. We avoid a whole a whole setting for a battle. But you know me, I'm gonna battle everybody right here. And uh well, we still got that repel uh lingering. So let's see, which two Pokemon do we need for this whole thing now? Let's go with Raiden. And let's go with Shroomly, because you know what, Shroomly, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in quite some time. And uh Probably should have stood right next to that guy. Hit me with the power cord. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. So here we go, guys. We're facing guitarist Fabian. And he's coming out with his main actric. Holy crap, look at that. Main actric, meet my Raiden. Raiden, meet main actric. Look at this. We're going with the return attack. Not really an electric type move, but this Raiden Pokemon right here. Yes, he loves me so much that look. Oh, crud. Never mind. I've been, uh, I've been hyping up my Pokemon. Yeah, I've been hyping up my Pokemon just a little too much. So here we go. Return attack yet again. Look at that. Ass whooping. And say goodbye to that main net trick right there. The real main net trick kicking butt. Gaia, of course, gaining experience points because they gave it the experience share. Pretty good. Very, very good stuff. And uh, there's a Pokemon trainer hiding right there. So let's go with Shroomly because, you know, initially we're going to do double battle. So here we go. To lurk in the shadows and live in darkness. That is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. Okay. Alrighty, homeboy. Whatever you say. So here we go. We're taking on Ninja Boy Yasu. And he's coming out with his ninja ask. Man, that's a nice team right there. Okay, so speed goes to them. Strength goes to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bulk up just a little bit. Now, Ninja Ask right here is making it a little difficult because it's using that double team. It might use it again since it does have a speed advantage. It does get an increase in, in speed right after this. As you can see, it's speed boost, re raising up its speed. So here we go, strength attack, and uh, oh crud, this guy wants to screech me. But here we go, strength attack. Wins it for us, that's right. Look at that, Shroom Lee kicking butt. Kicking everybody's butt, that's right. And he's like, I admit defeat. Bro, get another Pokemon, seriously. 
And uh, what is over here? Oh, look at that. Oh, there's something you can't... Oh, oh, wow, there's something unseeable. Seeable or something like that. So, as you can see, we can't see anything right there. We're going to need a little uh, special little item to actually go ahead and see what's over there. And uh, before we battle that guy, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch him up to uh, Skyblade right here. And here we go. Let's see. Trainer tips. Up to 16 decorations and furniture items can be placed in a secret base. Pick your favorite items and create your very own secret base exactly the way you want. Okay. I still need to get to that. I still need to fix that. Completely forgot where I put my secret base. To hide a tree, use a forest! Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. Bring it on. So here we go. Ninja Boy Hideo. Not Hideo Itami. I mean, Hideo! You know the wrestler. Hideo Matami. Now known as Kenta. I don't know. I don't know if you guys keep up with wrestling. I love wrestling. And look at this guy. This guy tried to self-destruct on me. What the heck was that? You missed. That's right. That's right. And Gaia. The Fierce Knight grows to level 33. Learning in prison. Let's see what in prison does. Let's see. It's a psychic attack. Prevents foes from using moves known by the user. Um... You know what? I'm just gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bail out on that one. So, because there's not a lot of people out here that knows it or knows the same move as my Pokemon. And here we go with another coughing. And here we go, Skyblade with the fly attack. That's right. A critical hit. Now Skyblade's a little more powerful with this flying attack. That's right. Look at that. Hideo not 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 so happy about himself right now. He is not. Alrighty. So let's get out of here and uh, let's get these uh. They look like cats. They really do. Pomeg berries. They look like cats. They really do. Okay, so grabbing that. And there's a Pokeball there, but I think that's around the area where Waterfall is needed. Yeah, Waterfall is needed right there. Alright, okay. Alrighty, okay. So, let's see. Nothing right there. And the Repel's uh, effect wars off. And here we are in Fortree City. So... Let's see. We got enough time to visit this whole thing. Not a lot of stuff that, you know... Well, Four Tree Cities, there's not a lot of things that you can find right here. So, I'm gonna... I'm, screw it. I'm just gonna, you know, take a tour of Four Tree City. So now, talk to this guy. He's like, the city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of the lifestyle, everybody's healthy and lively. Why even myself? I feel as I've uh, grown 30 years younger. How do you grow 30 years younger? Shouldn't you, like, decrease or something? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to the people right here. He's like, there are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. That is true. There are some Pokemon that you, you can trade and evolve. You know, Psy uh, Ultra Psycho from Pokemon Yellow. That's right. Talk to this guy. He's like, living on top of trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in through windows. It can be really startling. Okay. If you're, if you're like Misty, then yeah, you're probably going to be scared now. Let's see what this guy has to say. Pokemon and people have adapted to uh, to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. Okay. And she's like, the tree, the tree houses of Four Tree are great. I think it's a number one town for living together with Pokemon. All right. Okay. So there's nothing important right here. And uh, we're just going to climb around. And as you can see, there is a gym right here. We're going to get there eventually. I don't even know. Maybe in this episode. I don't know. I don't really feel like 30 minutes. And if you come in here, this is a shop. And uh, let's see. Talk to this girl. He's like, I'm buying a pretty desk and I'm putting my cute dolls on it. If I don't, when I decorate my secret base, my dolls will get dirty or poked with splinters. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now, if you talk to this guy, merchandise you buy here is sent to your own PC. That's fantastic. I wish they could uh, also deliver me home like that. Okay. That's why you call Uber. You got Uber, right? Okay, so talk to this guy. Let's see what we have to buy right here. Now, you can buy desks right here, I guess. Yeah, this guy sells desks, and I think the other guy sells uh, seats or something. I don't even know. So, let's see. I'm going to go with... You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm feeling kind of campy. Let's go with the camp desk. And, uh, let's see. Ooh, heavy desk. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. And, uh... Okay, so we're just going to... 
Actually, you know what? There's one more desk that I need to get. The small desk. Alrighty. And uh, let's get the complete set right here. Let's go to this guy right here. And he's like, okay, what do you want to buy? And this guy has a small chair, pokey chair. You know what? I don't want to, I don't want to really like mix, mix and match. Or I'm actually going to mix more than I'm going to match. So I'm going to buy a pokey chair because this looks pretty cool. And a heavy chair that looks ugly. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Camp chair. It's a tree stump. That's hilarious. Alright, you know what? Let's go with this one. And we're going to need some comfort. So let's go with the comfort right here. Alrighty, so we bought a few items. Eventually, we're going to go back to our secret base, wherever the hell that is. And, uh, you know, decorate the whole thing right here. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she's like, The ground absorbs rainwater and the trees grow by drinking that water. Our four tree city exists beca because there's both water and soil. That's good. Good to know. And let's see. I want to go to the Pokemon gym, but something's blocking the way. After all... Uh, after all the bother, I went through training on Route 120. Route 120 is uh, that way, which we will get to eventually. And if you go right here, let's see. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew towards Route 131. By the way, Sniff, mm, you smell singed. Were you at a volcano or something? Yeah, I was. Uh, where was it? What was it called again? Uh, Lava, Lava Ridge? Lava Ridge? Yeah, you, you guys know where I was. You guys know where I was. Now, let's see what this guy has to say. There! Go, bird Pokemon! Huh. Hey, I asked my Wingo to run, uh, an errand for me. That's pretty obvious, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this guy, or this chick right here. And she's like, by being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. And that brings the world closer together. I think that it's wonderful. Okay. That's cool. Alright. That's good. Let's move on right here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got right here. Let's see. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called the Pokedex. It's really awesome. That's good. Okay. Well, speaking, of or, well, speaking about Pokedex, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was uh, searching for rare stones. Oh, boy. He had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained They were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader of this town. Hmm. Alright, okay. Steven Stones, he, he, he's pretty much of a pimp. Um, okay, so something hidden right here. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we got another unseeable thing right here. Oh, crud. So we can't really go into the gym right now. We gotta do some other things. I don't even know. And, uh, let's see, we got two more, two more houses right here. Let's go ahead and talk to these old people. And she's like, people, Pokemon, their hidden powers are, uh, are aroused by living in nat natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right or in the left? Um, right? Oh, yes, correct! We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin right or left? Um... Right. Oh yes, correct. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin? Right or left? And of course it's gonna be on the left. And she's like, oh splendid! Your hidden power has awoken. Here, take this, awaken the hidden power of your Pokemon. And we get ourselves a TM TM10, which obviously is a hidden power. Hidden power is a move that changes with Pokemon. Okay, and I think this guy right here actually tells you what kind of hidden power you have. Could be wrong, let's see. Hmm. My power relies on hidden power to stay awake. She should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. I can't. Te I can teach your Pokemon how to sleep talk instead. And interested? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Sleep talk. Whatever. Uh, it, it, yeah, I'm not even gonna use it. I know it's a good move, but long, not a lot of times my Pokemon go to sleep. They get paralyzed a lot. Let's see, talk to this girl, and she's like, Roar, I need to, need it, I have to get, or, I have to get me a Volby. I'll do anything for it. Uh, did you hear that? My shout from the bottom of my heart? Having heard that, you will trade your Volby for my plus soul, won't you? Do I have a Volby? Huh. I could be wrong. I probably do have a Volby. Trading Pokemon with others, is it, it's as if you're trading your own memories with the other people. Huh. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Before we end this episode, let's go ahead and see if we actually do have a Volby. Let's go ahead and see if we actually have a Plusle, because I could, you know, I could actually have one of the, or I could have both. Because if we do have both, then you know what, what's the point? So let's see. 
Volbeat, Volbeat, Volbeat. Okay, so I see nobody here. Yeah. No Volbeat. Okay. So we don't have a Volbeat, and I don't think we have a Puzzle, so we're just going to end the episode right here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for, uh, for Fortree City, guys. In the next episode, we're going to see, we're going to find out what these hidden items are. Maybe train just a little bit more, and then, you know, be on our way, you know. Hope you guys uh, don't mind about that. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.